hope you don't. So we said, <coughs> first thing to do at setup is get your back more tilted, and if it does as a result become a bit straighter, even better. If we look at the back there. Look at your back there. Look at the hoops there on your jumper. They're going down there and there. Okay, so we continue that line there and continue that line down there. We'll see how we're getting nearer the golf ball down there, whereas this one's way out to the middle of the screen there, okay? You're certainly more over the golf ball on the right-hand side. Possibly a smidgen more, but I wouldn't go much too soon, okay? Too much change too quick. It feels a bit strange now, doesn't it? And if you look at it, there's not massive change, but it feels like you're making a massive lean over the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. But in reality, it's not much different. However, there is sufficiently enough lean now to reach the golf ball. And as a result, when the club goes back now, it's going much straight. You haven't changed that. It's just, it just happened. Compare yeah, that happened. to where you were before. Sorry. I'll go back. Yeah. Same position going back. That club now disappeared behind the back yeah, of the camera. Yeah. He's going back towards the middle of the screen there, okay? So just by being more over the ball, it's created an arc in your swing now that's slightly more upright. So when you get to the top of the back swing now, okay, your left hand is a little bit higher. You can see your hands here now are probably level with your head, whereas yeah. there they're above your head because they've sort of disappeared in sort of the, the glare of the, of the light yeah. there, okay? So a higher angle, the issue we said this is never going to go straight away. That's obvious, okay, because you instinctively always had this drop. When you drop now, the club came back. It was a little bit healy because you basically got nearer the golf ball more than you need to, and therefore the twist through the ball wasn't quite as much, okay? Some of the shots you've had, you've got your right foot from being flat on the ground, and you get more up on his toe there. Okay, and that's the key thing. And we'll go through a couple of exercises. You can just practice just so your body becomes familiar mm. with swinging that way and how the lower half works. But overall, your main focal point now is getting yourself set up that tilt over the golf ball. So in terms of practice, if you've got a reflection or a mirror somewhere, set yourself up to where you think you are correct and then check. So use the mirror as a checkpoint, not yeah. a help. Because if you're there on the golf course where there's no mirror, oh, right. what, 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 yeah. what does it look like? Yeah. Okay, so just get yourself over the ball. For me, it's, it's getting the angle now between your shoulder and your hip and the shaft to be as close to 90 as we can. As you can see there, you're certainly more over the ball than you were. A little more might help. But at the moment, I think where you're at the moment now, getting the body and the swing yeah. is looking okay. You've hit some reasonably good shots. Okay, getting a lot more speed through the ball now because you can twist better. And as we said... That club is going back a lot straighter. So we haven't changed the path by saying to you, Darren, it's don't swing it. too flat. Mm. The same way as some of the cough. Don't cough. Doesn't yeah. cure the cough. Right. It's change your spine angle, which will then change the swing path. It will automatically get the club working a bit higher. I say automatically, but probably nine times out of ten yeah. it will happen. There'll be some golfers who are used to swinging so far inside. It wouldn't change like that. But we can give them some practice drills. You need to worry about it now. The right. less you think about your golf swing, the better. Mm. You know when you get in a, in a bit of a pickle and things start going wrong, mates start chucking advice your yeah, way, yeah, yeah. head down, slow it down, yeah. bent your arm, do this, do that. Mm. You're on the fifth tee thinking, bloody hell, what am I doing? Exactly. I got umpteen swing throws, I wish one of those. And then when you get a good shot, you go, I wish one of those ten swing throws I got worked. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you yeah, don't know exactly. what you're doing. Well, what have I, what done? Have I just you know, done this yeah. different? Yeah, why can't I press save? Because yeah. you've got all these thoughts in your head. Yeah. Yeah. So if we can reduce, because the goal is less than two seconds, you haven't got time to think of much more than one thing anyway. Yeah. So if we can have a static change, get yourself in a position over the ball, say where your spine's a bit more tilted, it just gets the shoulders now nearer to the golf ball. And, and that's, that's going to help you in everything. everything. But if you go through that sequence about how far from the ball goes and how yeah. far your feet go, if we're just guessing these numbers here, guessing is never going to be consistent. However, as we said, if I ask the question, where's the club go? Yeah. We know it goes there. Where do your hands go on yeah. the golf club? We go there. And in positioning your hands, you do so by just tilting your spine. Yeah. We're good. And then from there, you just sort of set your feet as That's a result. Right. By starting with your feet together and getting that lean hands on the club. The club's down. It's not up here, the club. It's going to be down there lower because it's on the angle it would be. Mm. So you set up through information that you know. Not going on. My feet should go here. Because, yeah. again, from club to club, yes. that distance and that angle and all these things are going to be different. Yeah. If you sit okay. there with a seven iron, you see a completely different setup. All right. Not different as in it's completely changed, in, but it's still the same principles. Yeah. But that from the golf ball, sorry, that from the golf ball here would be nearer with a seven iron. Physics, isn't it? You're near the ball, you're closer. Say so. 
So go through that, get yourself set correctly, and then from there your swing now is as natural. The only swing that I would suggest is to try and make sure you complete the swing. Sweet, and, and Twist do, through it, yeah. You know, when I'm playing anything, not complete. Yeah. Exactly. And it is a hell of a difference. Exactly. It's hard, though, when your posture is such yeah, and you're yeah. a bit hunched. You can't rotate as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, does that make sense, Anya? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'll have a couple more now, mate, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to the bag.